Doctor, I'll be there soon. Please. Talk to me now. I'm your sister. Yes. What's going on here? What is going on? Son, talk hey. to your father. Don't allow emotions to weigh you down when you are in father's house. What? Talk, talk to me. Father, please what? leave him alone. And I ask again, what is the meaning of this drama? My king! I don't understand. If he does not want to tell you what is eating him up, then let him be. And who asked for your impute? Have I not warned you to stay away from matters that concern me? Son. What will you do? Son. No, my king, wait. Go ahead and beat me up. Brother, Don't please. talk. Me. What will you do? Yes, no, 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 son. Please, brother, Don't please. talk to your stepmom in that manner. And son. Let's go. Brother, Allow him to beat me up. No, no, no. Come on, let's go. Please, brother. Let's me up. Mom. Shut up. Shut up. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Allow them. Oh, Mom, you have to stop this all. The anger is too much. Only a girl went in the fire. The anger is too much. See, eh, what happened is that what just happened now? Okay, name it. Who are you asking in particular? I'm okay, Nadjo. Who should I have asked? Is it not your department? Are you not coming from inside? Oye kam majo. Oye ajo ane fuzo obono. Did you see him talk to the king or the stepmother? Did you? Sorry, sorry. Nka aman sugu sorry yo. Ah, simple question. Olu kwan sugu. Bo ne na para na para. This our prince has a lot of gods. I love such men. The way he gives Lolo her levels, the sweet meal. Did anybody ask for your impute? Come on, get out. <laughs> With that is deep voice. <laughs> hey. We don't even know actually what happened there. But the, the prince is pained. But wait to is your ma Kenna. When was the last time Ijoma visited this palace? But as for me, I can't remember anything. Chef. This is totally unbelievable. Totally unbelievable. Really? So my husband, the king of this land, stood watching the almighty first son insults the queen. The almighty prince insulting his stepmother. Yet, my husband, the king, couldn't even do anything. Mom, brother Charles was not in his right frame of mind. Ignore him, please. You must be very stupid. Very, very stupid. What has been in the right frame of mind got to do with what happened out there? Did I say anything wrong? Mom, you shouldn't have uttered anything. Let's bury this issue. Oh, really? Because flogging it might result to another thing. Oh, really? In other words, I should have kept mute. Right? Look, go ahead and tell me. Right? And my husband, the king, is still not saying anything. What do you want me to say? Up till now, I don't know what is wrong with my son. Until then, if I have anything to say, I will tell you. But for now, keep calm, please. What? With all due respect, my husband, did I hear you right? That I should keep calm? I am sorry to disappoint you. I will not keep calm. Charles has been on my neck in this palace, yet you've not said anything. This time around, I will follow him hot, hot. I will give it to him. This palace will be so uncomfortable for him. Trust me, there will be no peace for him. You know exactly what I can do. Excuse me. The anger is too much. Only the wench in the fire. The anger is too much. Only the wench in the fire. 
you know, she was, she was fine. She was responding to treatment when I, when I came here last night. What happened? Honestly, I, I don't know how to say this. There was a situation last night and I was called. In fact, I, I left my house around 2 a.m. in the morning. We tried everything possible to resuscitate her. We couldn't. And, and, and she gave up. I'm, 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 I'm so, so sorry. I am, I am sorry. I, I know how you feel now. And I, I understand. Please. Just hold yourself. Please. Father, I do not want you to start thinking about all these issues in this palace. Brother Charles has a character, so does my mom. I don't know why the both of them hate each other. I cannot see themselves as mother and child. I'm not worried. Don't bother yourself. I know something is behind it all. And I will tell you someday. So there is something behind this? I thought as much. But you are the king. If there is anything you can do to bring it under your control, please do, Father. Please. I will. Don't worry, I'll talk to my son. Thank you. Your mom was a very kind-hearted woman. Very lovely. For six months, she stayed here. She said a whole lot of things. We had wonderful conversation. She said deep things, good stories about you. She even made it very clear to me what really made her to leave the palace and even what transpired between her and the king. I, I don't... I believe you won't feel very bad if I'm telling you this. Truth is that I did not spend enough uh, time with my mother. Except for when I was really young. Before she left the palace. And I remember her constantly coming to check on me at the palace because, you know, my father wouldn't let her take me. And I also have vivid memories of her coming to fight for me and protect me from my stepmother who my father married and she started maltreating me. Ha, ah, this breaks my heart. I, I understand. To be honest, you're a man. Uh, thank God she had you with the twins that came and took care of her. But my question is, these twins, are they from the king? I thought you said that um, you and my mother had some time to talk. Did she not tell you everything? Doctor, you would agree that this is not a good time for this kind of conversation, but um, what I can tell you is that the twins are my siblings. Please. Uh, now that I am still strong, let me see my mother's body before we take her to the morgue. I honestly want you to have this in your mind and with all sincerity, with all modesty, you and the twins came from the same lawyer. That was what your mother told me. But the only problem she has with you is that you so much believe in your father than her. Please, can I see my mother's body before she's taken to the mortuary? Or have you moved her to the mortuary yet? Not really. Obi not the twin brother came here and obliged for her body and I had to 
What? What you? You allowed him move my mother's body without my consent. I understand how you feel. He came in and, and paid the remaining balance. He said a lot of things that there is no need for us to keep her here. We need to move her to the mortuary. No, I'm sorry, doctor, but you're out, out of line. What bill did he pay? I brought my mother here. How can you grant that boy the, the authority to, to move my mother's body out of this place without talking to me? What is going on? But he is your brother. He is your brother. I, I still believe what he has. I, I don't... He didn't act, act out of the law. He did exactly what he's supposed to do. He should, I don't think it's, it's going to be a problem. I don't see it to be a problem. Taking your mother's body to the mortuary to avoid decomposing is not an issue. And I think you should welcome such. You should have been him. I'm so sorry. Call your brother, quickly. Why are you looking for Obina? What happened? Amaka, what's with the pretense? What is, what is this? Huh? Why do you sit there and act like you're not in on all of this? All of you, you, this old man seated here and your brother, stupidly connived to abduct my mother's body, moved her from the hospital where she died. Listen, I am going to have to arrest all of you. I am going to arrest each and every one of you for abducting my On what authority did all of you take that action? On what, what authority, what gave you the guts to think of moving my mother's body out of the hospital where she passed on and took her somewhere, somewhere? I can't find her body. And I'm here asking questions and you're acting all innocent? Call your brother, get him out! Charles! Did you just say your mother? Did I hear you correctly? Did you just say your mother? Oh, I get it. She's now your mother. When you abandoned her, when you abandoned her cause, she was never your mother. You lived all your life abroad without any care for her. Do you know how mama suffered? Do you know how she toyed with a sickness that took her life away? Of course you do not know. And you stand before me to insult Uncle Ume. Mama's only brother that sold everything he has just to make sure that your mother was well. And when you finally came back to your senses, you took her to the hospital, of course she died there. Is that what gave you the miserable gods to call me and ask for her body? I ask you, child, oh. oh, you call me miserable. <sighs> you address me as miserable, Amaka. You see the Kwagemma? Oh, I see that you have grown. Huh? Listen, the fact that my mother got you from that miserable drunk does not give you the right to stand in front of me and talk nonsense. Even if she got her from a drunk, is she not your sister? Mwanegi! It is the same cord that tied you in her womb. Tied her also in her womb. Well, there's no problem. You insulted me, but I don't bother. All I have to say is, leave my compound. Leave! 
before the whole thing will turn to a different thing. Uh, hold on. I am going to leave. Clearly, it's not like I like it here. I have come because you all connived to abduct my mother's body. Where is my mother's body? Tell me where you have kept her body and I'll just leave. It's that simple. Um, um, listen, we will discuss this when your brother comes back. Amaka came back from the hospital this morning. Elizabeth died in her arms. She doesn't know where the corpse is as I speak to you now. So please, leave. We will discuss this as a family and uh, uh, get a solution to it. Charles, you had the guts to lay your filthy hands on your sister's face. Don't that will fire you. Your prince and arrogance can only end in the palace and not here. The sinner listened very good. I know how I suffered. I know how I was hungry for the sake of mama. I know what I passed through. I know how painful it is for mama to die in my arms. Where were you? Where were you? Where were you the so-called first truth? Where were you our mother's what happened? Her? Where were you? This morning, all you could do is to come here and slap your sister that lost her mother. Just what did I do to you? Tell me, what did I do wrong to you? It's okay. <laughs> Amaka, you are going to tell that tout you call Obinna that I was here that I've come to demand that he takes my mother's cups back to the hospital's morgue where he moved it from. That is where I want it. Failure to do so, he is going to have serious issues with me and Omandim. Do well to tell him that I was here. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> into my father's compound, into your own compound, and insult my cousin. When I want to retaliate as a man, is he happier that he's a prince? You see, that we should let him be that he's a prince. Prince again, eh? eh? Prince who more for prince of mother. Who does that? And then me, eh? And then me, eh? Hmm. Papa, what did Amaka do? He just drove in, not even to commiserate with his mother's family. But to start acting funny, I hate that guy with passion. His arrogance is overrated. How am I even related to that monster? All this is the king's fault. He made the prince to hate this family. But time shall tell. When I was spending my heart and money, calling him to, to, to send money that his mother was bedridden. Did he care? I personally went to, 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 to the king to tell him that his ex-wife need medical attention. But he asked me to get out of the palace, that I should never step my foot on that palace. Imagine, I never, I never did. I never did. Hmm? 
This boy don't know what he's doing to himself. Oh, man, if he likes, eh, you should know what he's doing. If he likes, you should not. Oh, see, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. See, you Let us touch him so he will, he will, he will calm down. Prince, I'm not going to say that. 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 I'm not going to such attitude you portrayed out there. Please, please, please. Not now, not today. I have, I have a lot on my mind. I'm not, I'm not in the space for all of this. I'm not, I'm not in the mood for this kind of talk, please. Madam. Will you be keeping away everything that is disturbing you? I saw tears dropping in your eyes this morning. Oh, shut up, love it. What is wrong with you? Are you out of your mind? Why can't you stay away from someone you call a brother but doesn't regard you as a sister? Why are you forcing yourself on him? Why? Mom? Shut up, I said. You are my daughter. And you must behave like your mother who doesn't give a hoot about whose corn is popping. Don't start this fire you want to ignite. When it flames up, don't run away. I have told you, don't run away. Anger is too much. <laughs> Here again in pain. Look at the tears streaming from your eyes. My God, your mother, Queen Elizabeth, what happened to her? My mother is dead. Oh my God. Ha! Huh. So sorry about that. She has been in the hospital, and you just told me a few days ago that she's recovering. I'm so sorry about that one name. Ndo, please. I now understand the pains in your face. It's okay. Just put yourself together and be a man. Oh? Ndo. I'm so good. So. Sorry. Your Majesty. Uh, Ijama, have you seen my son? Yes, Your Majesty. He's in his room. Sit down. Uh, did you discuss with him? No, Your Majesty. 
from the way he was behaving, I think something is wrong with him. He didn't talk to me. He just left to his room and said he wanted to be left alone. Oh, well, whatever. Um, uh, Ijama, listen. Both of you have come a long way. Both of you schooled in the same school overseas. So I believe by now uh, you must have learned each other. Uh, I don't know what he is waiting for. You are supposed to be married by this time. But that's not the problem. Uh, I want you to talk to him. Talk to him. The way he talks to his stepmother is not right. He should be mindful of the way he harasses the woman everywhere. It's not right. Talk to him. This morning I tried to find out why his mood suddenly changed and he couldn't talk to me. Could you imagine that? Your Majesty. Father! Father, there's a bad news. What's bad news? The prince's mother is dead. What? Yes. The prince's mother is dead? No. Just sit down, sit down. I remind you that my authority as a king extends beyond your room. And besides, you are not just talking to your father, you are talking to the king of Omona. As much as that is true, father, I do not wish to see or speak to you. At least, not now. Uh, that's not correct, son. I am not here to banter with you and they come here to talk to you. Lord, can you please, just please, 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 I beg you, please just stop. Quit the pretense. For I am sure that your daughter Love hath already told you what happened. I know that deep down you are happy. So you can go ahead and marry. Rejoice for your enemy is dead, finally. Just let me be. Oh. Because I'm the one that killed her, right? Or maybe I'm the one that sent the sickness that killed her. Mind your language, son. Oh, well, I am not here for all this. I am here to talk to you. To talk to me about what exactly, father? Now you want to talk? I remember when I returned from overseas, I begged you, dad, to talk to me. To show my mother mercy and call her back to the palace. But you refused and now you want to talk. And I say no. My mother is dead and... Father, my mother is dead and gone. Right? 
Let me grieve. Let me deal with my pain. And I think that we should all just stand back and see what comes out of this. Oh, don't be stupid, son. You are talking to your father. Tell me what will come out of it. Could that be a threat or what? No. Let me warn you. Everything about her ends the day she walked out here. The only thing I had in common with her is you. And not those twins that she had from her adulterous drunk. If you want to grieve, fine and good. But not here. Not in my presence. You must really think that you're talking to a child. We are talking about my mother here. The woman who gave birth to me. You can go on and talk about her. But I said not here. Go to her father's house. This is the least thing I need to hear now. Sad news. Queen Elizabeth. She suffered so much from this sickness. We cannot question the Creator. We should leave it the way we see it. She still remains our queen till death. Mazu man, you tried as a man to protect your only sister, who was married to the king. Even though their marriage hits the rocks, let us take it easy, as the Lord who created has taken. Why will he take my mother? Why will he take my mother? Why? Why? Why should he be my mother? Why? The only woman I have, why, why? Why should it be my mother? Asabi, why Stop should it be my now, mother? Amaka, why? 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 It's okay, Amaka. Where is your brother Obina? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, baby. Maybe he's at the mortuary. I don't know. I don't know. Hey! <laughs> Take heart, my daughter. <laughs> Let me go to my shop. When the barrier is fixed, we will come as Umwada and accord her a befitting barrier. Inugo. Thank you. 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 Where is Obinda? Where is Obinda? Where is Obinda? He will soon be back. He will soon be back. Should I run along to check on him? Okay, okay he's here. Okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> 
has been deposited, uncle. That is very good. I hope the hospital bills has been settled. Yes, uncle. I have paid all the necessary bills. By the way, was just here this morning. That one. He came home and started shouting to the end of slapping sister Maka. Uncle? Amaka, Shao slapped you. Yes, yes, yes. What happened? It has not come to that. Charles is your senior brother. He can get angry and misbehave. Amaka, it's okay. Hmm? It's okay. Uncle, it's not okay. It's not okay. Charles doesn't care about us, Uncle. He was never there when we needed him. Yes, he took Mama to the hospital. But he never came to see her. He never bothered to know how our mother was doing. He never sent us money. And now Mama is dead. Just because he was told that after Mama left the palace, that was when she gave back to myself and Obina. That is just the cause of this hatred. That is why he hated us so much. That is why he hates this family. And now he wants the body to be taken back to the hospital. On what grounds, Uncle? On what ground? Was that what he said? Yes. He also said on whose order was the body removed from the hospital. No, but Hey! Charles said all this and laid his filthy hands. He's caused hands on my sister. Hey! Hey! Yeah, 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 yeah! Now, Pomine Uncle, I am going to that palace now. I am going to Bosra Palace this minute. Oh no, Amali Amaka, I must return his back. Obina, Obina, hold it. It is a taboo to fight a crown prince. We have customs and tradition. He is your brother and a prince. Don't go to that palace. The guards might injure you. The king hates you. Hurt your mother and all of us here. He will do the unimaginable if he sees you in the palace. Uncle, let me die. Please don't go down. Uncle, let please, me die. Please, Uncle, please, I cannot please. take this. I cannot take this. Please, oh. Uncle, let me die. Uncle, what am I living for? Tell me. After all, Mama is no more. So tell me, what am I living for? Tell me what am I living for? Uncle, Charles has the gods to step in his foot in this compound and lay his filthy hands on my own twin sister, Awage Mam. Oh, well, I call her. She won't let me It's a mom. Uncle gave him mad Oh God, with the vultures! 
Okula will kill somebody. I don't want to lose two people. Please, I beg you. I don't want to lose two people. Please. Ah. Please. See, listen, let, 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 me just, let me just think about to bury our mother and forget about Charles. Please, I don't want to lose you. The king pushed me out of the palace and said that he will kill me because I warned him against my treating my sister. That is the kind of person he is. Obina, listen to your sister. And everybody should calm down. <laughs> everybody should calm down. Obina, I'm asking you again, Obina, on whose authority did you move our mother's body out of the hospital mark? What did you say? I don't have the rights to ask that. Are you out of your mind, Obina? I am your elder brother! Ah! Is that so? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Obina, Gamon, to listen to me. You are going to take our mother's body back to that hospital where she passed on. They have a standard morgue. Obina, you're going to do it. You are going to do it or you give me all the paperwork that you have used to move her mother's body so that I can retrieve her body. And Arif and Leku, do you understand what I'm saying, Obina? Obina, you are going to do what I have told you. You will do it. It is not in your place to move her mother's body without consulting me first. Wait for the beginning to see if there's something wrong with you. Hello? What is wrong with Charles? He is threatening me. Asking for the receipt I was given at the mortuary. What is he feeling like? Hmm? He kept Mama in the hospital and has been pained for over six months. Is that what is entering his head? Is that why he's acting like this? I don't understand. What is wrong with him? I think he has a plan. But I don't know what his plan is. Listen to me, Obina. Do not disclose the name of the mortuary to him until he tells us what he wants to do with our mother's body. Do you understand what I just said? Oh, you are right. You are right. I think uh, that is what I should do. Because I don't understand it. The threat is too much like... Who is it? Yes, what do you want? Good day, my friends. Yes, good day. What is it? I want to serve you your food now. Huh. It's fine. I, I, I don't have appetite. It's, it's okay. My prince, we heard you lost your mom, the former queen. And I would advise you to take heart and console yourself. You have not eaten anything since today. Thank you. Thank you. The anger is too much. the fire. The anger is too much. On your day, quenching the fire. Here you go. Come back here. Where have you been all day? I want to see my mother. 
Have you not been told to stop going there for whatever reason? Get <laughs> out. I don't like the way you treat this boy. I just don't like it. The other day, the mother came here spoiling for a fight. If he does anything wrong, correct him. He's a quality your son. Stop slapping him, I don't like it. Do not give me those orders, your highness. The boy is very stubborn. Stop harassing my son. I won't take it again. How are you, my son? I am fine, mom. <sighs> Your siblings, they are asking of you. And I told them that you will come and see them when the school closes. But the king said that I should not come and see them again. Your father said this? Yes, ma'am. Ah. Anyway, don't mind your father. Okay? Don't mind your father. Obina and Amaka are your siblings. And I'm your mother. And you know I can never lie to you. Hmm? Yes. By the time you grow up to become a man, there are things I will let you know. Hmm? Okay. Take this. My thought is for you. Don't let anyone see it, okay? Thank you. Don't let anybody see it, okay? Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. But mommy, one and two go to to stop beating me for nothing. And to go to, She's beating you? Yes. And to go to Ibagala? Who is she? To touch my son? Anyway, don't worry. By the time I catch her outside this palace, I will beat the hell out of her. Hmm? Let me see. Let me see too. Are you sure? Are you sure you miss me? Yes, ma'am. But my father told me that my mother left the palace and started dating a drunk which resorted to Obi Nanamaka. But my mother told me different. Who do I believe? Who do I believe? Because he never agreed that Obi and Amaka are his children. Why do I feel that my father is right? Why is the feeling so strong? However, I am going to bury my mother in this palace. Yes. She was the first queen. And she be cut a prince. She must be buried in the palace. Oh yes. If not, people would not even respect or regard me after my father's demise and I ascend the throne as a king. Queen Elizabeth will be buried here. Father, you are here eating, and the prince is stuck in his room. He has not been fine, and has refused to open the door this morning. And what business of yours is it? I don't understand. Love it. You mean, the first thing that came to your mind this morning, He's knocking on child's door. Have I not warned you to 
Stop this your closeness with Charles. Enough woman. Enough. He's just not her brother. I don't understand all this. Listen, this fire you are stoking in this palace, when it eventually burns, it's sure, it must surely consume you. Um, I don't want to say anything about Charles now. He's an adult. He has his life to live. When he's done mourning his mother, I will say something. Mom. Mom, please watch what you say most times. Brother Charles is the first son and will retain the stool after father's reign. Please, learn how to respect him as a son and prince. This time is definitely not when your newly married father and subjected him to all sorts of inhuman treatment. How dare you treat me in that manner? Are you insane? How dare you? Mom. One more word I will break your head. Ugochi. Ugochi. Sit down. Sit down. I tried calling the prince and he hasn't been taking my calls. I hope all is well. He has not been himself since the mother's death. He even refused to open the door this morning. Unless you're going to try. Okay, let me try. Hey. What do you want to do? Listen, I will not have you walk around this palace as you like. You're just a girlfriend and not a wife. So wait for him till he comes out from his room. As for patrolling around this palace, it's totally unacceptable. Your Majesty, I don't think I have had time to exchange Words or quarrel with you ever since I started coming to this palace. What's all this? What's going on? You're obviously asking yourself that question. I've given my orders. And it's final. Mom, what's happening? Father has told you to mind that lighter you are holding. Because when it will explode, I will be one side watching. EJ, let's go. You think I'm blabbing? 
right? That's what you think. Okay, it's fine. Then you make a move. Come on, go ahead. Rush to Charles' room and tell him that you're here, please. There is no need for that. It's fine, I'll wait for him to call me, but, but please, tell your mother. That thing she's looking for, she will see it soon. Please, babe. I don't know what is wrong with her these days. I don't know. She even scolded me this morning on why I went to check on Charles. Eh? Can you imagine that? It's fine, it's fine, I just... I will talk to her, please. It's fine. Come down. Talk to your mom. Please, I will. IJ, please. Yes, come in. Yes. My prince, I understand you are going through a very tragic phase, but I have something very important to tell you. Something important, you said? Yes, my prince. Go ahead. Ijoma was here in the morning and I don't know what the queen told her and she left in anger. Please, my prince, call her and talk to her. Are you sure? Yes, my prince. I sneaked in to inform you, sir. How are you? Uh, okay, slow down, calm down, calm down. And that's why I'm calling, okay? I need you to please come back to the palace. Yes, immediately. I know, I am here, I'll, uh, I'll handle it. I promise. Please. Thank you. You must be very stupid to ask me such question. You know it's obviously not meant for me. Rather, for your late mother, who left this palace a whack. You dare to disrespect the memory of my mother. Who do you think you are? You are a 